Hold up, wait a minute. How did I end up in this situation? An awesome friend of mine, Khadija, you might have recalled her from one of my trips on the Nile, told me this is a once in a lifetime experience. You cannot miss it. Go check out the celebration of Sayyid al Badawi, the most famous Egyptian Sufi. Sufism is the spiritual arm of Islam, and like monks, base their practices in detachment from desires. They give up everything understanding that the next life with God is greater. I'm here in Tantum with new friends Shema and Susie. Syed El Bedoui lived in the 13th century and is known for his high level of character. He devoted his life to worship and studying with other spiritual leaders. He once spoke to the Caliphate, chief Muslim ruler, Abdul El Ail, be gentle with the orphan, clothe the naked, feed the hungry, be hospitable to the stranger, so that you may be accepted by God. A night, all people coming to uh, everywhere. Uh -huh. uh, So we're we're having breakfast with yeah, Nasser. Gibna Adima. Okay. Asal Abiyat. Okay. Gibna Bitamatim. Cucumber. There uh, is fire and water. A make tea for all people. This Arab, Arab Egyptian. Oh, okay. Yalla. Old woman Egyptian. Yeah. 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 During the celebrations, normally a wealthier family would sponsor a tent and provide everyone oh with Oh my food. god, me <laughs> too. <laughs> <laughs> you hungry? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Lama. La 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 la. La 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 I've taken a lot of pictures with a lot of people. And now we're gonna check out what this place is like in the evening. The celebrations go on for a week, and on the last night, known as Leila Kabira or the Big Night, there's one final performance. Oh. <laughs> Here on the big night, and it's about to get crazy. As this was my second night at the celebration, I had a gut feeling that this wasn't actually Sufism. Regardless, everyone was having a great time.
as I'm making this video now, I realize this celebration, which is supposed to be rooted in spirituality, has actually become a party for the struggling class, for the families making $90 to $120 a month to support five people. And I understood why this event was so attractive to them. It was something they could look forward to, a way to release their stress, to simply enjoy a week with friends and family. But in the States and Europe, it's somewhat similar. We have a lot of people who are stressed out, but from different reasons. We're doing jobs we hate just to make money. We're never satisfied. And so we go to parties and music festivals to release our stress. We take drugs and drink alcohol to forget our problems. And when the party is over, we're right back to the same lives. We're on the way to go to the train right now. And it's about 4 a.m. There's still people everywhere. Oh, 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 oh. My friends purchased me a 33 cent train ticket that was departing as soon as possible, so I had to get on. Madness begins. Oh. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. My bodyguards. As they say, if one door closes on you, another will open. And I was really hoping this would be true. Ultimately what I thought was going to be a spiritual event turned out to be a lesson in joy. Sometimes all you need is some love, a little bit of dancing, and good friends. Because at the end of the day, if we're all going to die, then why not make this life more enjoyable for everyone? As Sayed El Barwi once said, Be gentle and humble towards people, knowing that your only enemy is Satan. Thank you guys so much for watching this far in the video. I must have meant you enjoyed some of this content and if you really do enjoy this content, please subscribe. There, right in the corner.